Let us talk a few sentences about the tools on the top menu. This is a standard file, edit, draw, tools, laser, view and help menu bars. When you click on file, you will see that new, open, save, save as, import, export. All the functions, standard functions that may be found in file menu and print also. These are all standard functions. You must be familiar about them. And also the machine options. The machine options is a critical part and important part of the laser cut software. When you click on machine options part, you will see different menus when you click on each one and all of these ones, most of these ones are used to make precise adjustments and to make good adjustments about the speed of the machine in laser cutting. So that part will be explained in the coming lessons in detail because machine options part is the is the part which the machine loads the information of the configuration file in the future lessons you will see that we download two different files one is the configuration file config file the other is the laser cutting operating file the laser cutting file consists of information contains information about the cutting operation you can give a shape a color to this rectangle and draw another rectangle and give another color and cut both of them or cut this one with this speed and this one with another speed so these types of information are stored in the cutting file. The configuration file is different from this and configuration file consists of information, the adjustments that you have done in the machine options part. So all the adjustments we are going to make on the machine options part will be loaded to the machine as configuration file. We will show them in detail in the coming lessons because machine options is really an important part of this software. Let us select edit. In edit you will see that undo, redo, copy, paste, cut, refresh, pick, zoom in, zoom out, pen, zoom to table, zoom to object, center to table. These as we have seen before, some of these tools exist in the top menu. When you click on draw, you will see some icons which also exist in the left menu bar. Draw a line, rectangle, polyline, ellipse, bezier, text. The only difference in here is the bezier. To show the Bezier function, let us click on Bezier and click on somewhere with left mouse button. And without losing the left mouse button, move the mouse to a desired distance and lose the left mouse button. Now click on the left mouse button again and move your mouse while holding the left mouse button. If you get the desired shape on this, lose the left mouse button and click on the right mouse button and click on pick. Now when you click on click with pick on the empty space, you will see that this bezier is formed in here. If you want another bezier, click on it again and bring your mouse on the for example end point of this bezier. You will see that when you click on endpoint, the this shape occurs. This means that when you 
throw when you start drawing in here the ends and starting points will coincide and pull it to somewhere that you want again without losing the left mouse button and lose the left mouse button and click on the left mouse button in here again and holding the left mouse button just move it until where you want and lose the left mouse button again click on the right mouse button click on pick and click on empty space now you have drawn two beziers on the draw menu there are also copies rotal mirror tools align tools these are all existing in here edit node tool that we show before on the left menu bar one more tool is left in the draw menu that is the split line tool when you select split line and when you select for example this rectangle is a complete shape and each side cannot be moved separately but if you split the sides simply by selecting the corner and clicking on left with the left mouse button once and then, then clicking on the same corner again with left mouse button now you see that the yellow colored small circle small square formed in here also it was only in here in the beginning and on this corner let us make it click once you see since it is selected only once clicking is enough now click on in here once another one is formed in here first click is for selecting the second click is for splitting and now click on the pick tool click on the pick tool and click on the empty space and now you will be able to select each side and move each side to somewhere you want you see now each side of the rectangle is splitted in the beginning it was something like this rectangle and sides were not able to be moved to some other place only you can select you can carry all of the rectangle to somewhere the tools menu consists of some important functions one of them is the data check function when you click on data check function you will see that it can check whether the shape is closed or not it can check whether whether the shape is self intersecting or not whether there is intersection or not or whether there is overlapping or not let us draw a rectangle and a circle ellipse like shape these shapes intersect at two points as you can see when you click on data check and click the overlap function is clicked if you click on check it will say that the search result is check result is zero because there is no overlap in here overlap means one shape and another shape on the top of it just the same as that one or just the same as some part of that one this is intersecting this is not overlapping we will show what overlapping is in a few minutes if you check check closed and remove the click of check overlap if you click on check again result is zero because 
there is no unclosed shape in here. If you click on self intersect and click on check, the result is again zero because nothing is intersecting with itself. There is no self intersect. If you click on check intersect and check, it will give you two results, two intersecting points. One is here, the other is in here. Now, let us remove the, both of them and draw a rectangle and copy this rectangle simply by click, right clicking with the pick icon, right clicking and selecting copy and right click again and select test. Now, there are two rectangles just overlapping one on the top of other. So when we select now the data check tool now and check overlap, you will see that result will be one. This means that one shape is overlapping another shape. This is the rectangle of course. If you want to clear, remove one rectangle, Select by clicking the pick icon on the one side once and push the delete button on your keyboard. You see that red one is deleted but the second one is still there because there were two overlapping each other.